Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Who am I? You? <laughs> so as you saw by the title of today's video, I wanted to do something very bronzy, very summery. I also put on a really cool like 90s. Ugh. Oh god, no. Look at me. Can you see that? Oh god. I put on like a 90s retro like shirt. That just, I don't know, it kind of screamed summer to me. I didn't have any Hawaiian shirts, otherwise I would have totally put that on. Because that just, like, screams summer to me. Let's just go ahead and get started because I look god-awful right now. I've got my hair in my little, my little cute bun thing. With the, the th thing, yep, mm-hmm. So we're ready to start. So I've already moisturized my face. So the next thing I do, as soon as I get done with that, is... Primers. The one I'm going to be using today is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is the mattifying one. I have went back to this one because the one that I have been using actually has just not really been cutting it as far as mattification goes and I remembered this one was always like it was my holy grail prior to that one. I figured why not try it again. So we're just going to rub that into the T-zone area. Like where I get really oily. Kind of like squish it in there, you know? Okay, so next up is my all-time favorite uh, pore filling primer. The Catrice Prime and Fine Primer. And just put it where I've got the big old pores, which is basically the exact same place that I get oily. <laughs> Who would have thought? And rub that sucker in. I think that'll do. What do you guys think? So as far as foundation goes, I'm just going to go in with one of my holy grails foundations because I love it but I am running out of it so you're gonna see me put it on real ghetto like this is the uh, YSL all hours foundation I have mine in the shade 50 B honey oh it doesn't expire for another year wow who who why so what I'm gonna do is give her a good swirling <laughs> and then just put it on like this <laughs> I know I know. Don't judge me, okay? You've done this too, okay? And if you haven't, then you're wasting a lot of product. That foundation is like almost 60 bucks. I'm using every last drop, okay? And then I'm going to go in with the good old MAC Fix Plus and beat this into my face. Next up will be the concealer. And the concealer that we're gonna be using today is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. No surprise there, mine is in the shade Light Medium Honey. And I'm just going to apply it as normal. And more fix blush. <laughs> So the next thing that we are going to do is cream contour. <laughs> Couldn't remember the name. So I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution foundation stick like I used in my uh, recent review of this foundation. But I'm actually going to be using this in the dark shade, this uh, F15 shade, to cream contour my dome. So I'm going to do it just like so. Um, I've learned to not use 10 pounds of this like I was because um, it didn't look good. <laughs> I've went a little lighter handed lately. Nope. That'll do. Uh, because, you know, I don't want to look nuts. Well, you know what I mean. And I'm gonna go in with my brush. This is the crown something brush because the name rubbed off, see, see? See, there's no name there anymore. Mm. So we're just going to start buffing this into the skin. For some reason, I always like to start on my right cheeky area. I don't know why, but I do. And uh, wiggling, squiggling it all around. Buffing it into that hairline, you know. This is really going to help kind of set the tone, like the base, for the bronzy look that I'm going for. Woo! <laughs> Does anybody else ever have the urge just to scream while you do your nose contour? Because I do. And then I go back in with my beauty blender, a beauty sponge type dude. What is on the wall? There's a giant ant on the wall! Ah! No! Ah! Where'd it go? No! No! Ah! It's still alive! Ah! Holy guac. 
guacamoles, man. Well, if you didn't know that I am petrified of bugs, uh, then you know now. Woo, that lit you girl up. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. I'm going to want to turn around and look at the wall every 32 seconds just to make sure there's no giant ants crawling up the wall. The thing was going to kill me. It had plans. It had plans. I don't even know it personally, but I, I, it just had to have. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set the face before I scream again and crack everything again. So I'm gonna go in with the Coty Airspun powder stuff. <laughs> don't look at my nails. God, they're awful. So I'm just gonna take my little poof and boop it around a little bit. And then to set the under eye, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. Boop it under there. So I'm going to set the rest of my face with a foundation powder to kind of get rid of that white cast. And the one that I've been using is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder. And I'm just using this Morphe E2 brush. This is one that I mentioned in my brush favorite. I shall link that video for you up here in the one of these corners and you should definitely check those videos out so I'm going to go in with kind of like another holy grail product so to brighten up the under eye again even though it is still kind of decently bright I really want to make a pop and to do that I'm going to be using this Tarte chisel something palette Park Avenue chisel palette I'm gonna be using the highlight shades here on the end so I dip into both shades and I go pretty liberally and I just kind of pat it underneath of the under eye. Look at how bright she got! Woo, girl! This stuff is phenomenal, honestly. I wish they would come out with like just uh, these shades in another palette because I love them so much. So we're gonna go ahead and start the bronzing process. My hair's getting even cuter as we go on. But to start the bronzing process, we're going to use my favorite bronzer. Had to do a quick ant check. So this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've actually ever seen in life? I know. I'm going to grab my bronzer. Well, this isn't really my bronzing brush, but I grabbed you, so we'll use you. Kind of boop it around in there. Get her all nice and coated. And just bronze the hell out of my face. You see that dimension just showing up. Go ahead and get started on this double chin. Just really give her a good buffering. All right, that was good. That brush did great, actually. I am pleasantly surprised. So I'm gonna dive back into the Tarte Chisel palette. And to be honest with you, I'm probably just gonna mix all of these and put them on. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. I always bring my contour up here to this wasteland that I've got going on behind this widow's peak. We got a lot of real estate. I try to make it look condensed. And there she is. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this dual fiber blending brush. Just kind of buff everything together so it doesn't look so choppy. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the coolest toned shade in this palette to do my nose contour because I do not personally enjoy a warm nose contour. So the one that looks coolest to me is this one right here, Princess Cut. I'm just going to give it a whirl and see how that works out. And I'm going to be using it on my good old trusty E30 Morphe brush. Snatchery. All right, so I'm going to go back in with that same stippling brush to kind of buff that in, you know, make that look nice and blended. Perfect. That's a nose job for you. The blush that I like to use whenever I want to look very bronzy is this one by MAC. It is called Eternal Sun. I like to use this blush whenever I'm doing bronzy type looks because it's very, like, apricot and orangey based and I just think that looks real good with bronzy looks. So I'm going to put about 10 pounds of this on here and apply it to the cheek area. It's a subtle apricot shade I think but I don't know I just there's something about it that just ties bronzy looks together. Put a little bit on my nose for that oops I forgot to put sunscreen on my nose look. I'm also going to blend the blush in as well. So, now for another exciting installment of oh, I'm launching my face. The highlighter that I want to use is the Sun Dipped Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
there's just something about this one that screams I like bronzy things. So we're gonna use my favorite highlighting brush of all time. If you guys have not watched my review and like first impression of this brush, you need to, cause it's a good time. And I was literally blown away though. Like I'll be real with you, I did not expect what this delivers. Didn't expect it. I wanna go in with this tur tur tourmaline, tourmaline? I don't know how to say that word. This one right here, yep. That's the one. And we're just gonna dip our brush in it and get to highlight. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, I'm gonna step off here, do my brows off camera cause that'll take like another 34 to 45 minutes. The sad part is I'm not joking. And then I'll come back and we will finish the eyeballs and we're gonna finish this look. Cause there's really not a whole lot left because when I think bronzy, I think like summer and beachy and you know, not a ton of cake face, even though I clearly have on a ton. We'll get to it. Don't worry. I'll show you. See you in a minute. Let's get started on the eyeballs. So the palette that I'm going to use is this brand new ColourPop You Had Me at Hello palette. This is what it looks like right here. I've never used this baby before. It looked like it had some pretty bronzy shades in it. So I figured we'd give her a whirl. Can you still see me? I can see me here. Can you see me here? Camera one, camera two, camera one. Come here too. You get it? It's Wayne's World. It's, only, it's my favorite movie. Okay, so I'm going to hop in with... Are these shades named? Ooh, they are. And my packaging is crooked. Perfect. <laughs> Just like everything else I own. All right, so I'm going to use the shade 2Ps, which is this one right here. 2Ps. Two, two of them, not just one. No, neither are, nor are they green. I'm going to use this shade on a Morphe M504 blend and brush to kind of place in the creasy area of my lids. I don't want to do anything too crazy. I kind of want to stick with something a little more natural. So the next shade I want to jump in with will be so this guy here and it is Want You Back. Really? I'm never focused when I want to be. It's fine. It's fine. So I'm going to be using a Morphe M433. Oh, this is like a red undertone. I did not see that coming. I definitely thought this would be more brown, but it is certainly red toned. Whoa, that is some darn pigment. Darn tootin', there's pigment on here. Pretty though, it's not what I was expecting. I'm gonna go back in with the original Morphe brush, the big blending brush, and just kind of blend it all together. I'm not gonna add any more product. We are starting to look pretty red and I don't want that. So the last color that we are going to jump in with is, I think I'll just use the same brush and I'm going to use Sparks Fly. This one right here. I'm hoping it is a deep chocolate brown, but something tells me that since the other brown had red undertone, this one probably will too. I mean, it's certainly more brown than the other, but it still has that red undertone. It's still pretty. All right, and we're gonna buff it all out again with my same blending brush. Kind of makes it a little bit more subtle looking. What this palette doesn't have is like a really nice light shade that I could highlight my brow bone with. Unless I go straight in with a shimmer, which I don't love doing, but I mean, I could. We'll go ahead and do it. We'll go ahead and do it. Oh, it makes me uncomfortable. All right, so the one that I'm gonna go in with is the Knot. This color right over here. It's a very pretty champagne-y, shimmer-esque color. Okay, that's pigmented. We'll see what it looks like on the eyeball. There we go. Whoa, mama bear. Whoa, that's a brow bone highlight. <laughs> oh, Kelly Clarkson. Holy macadamia nuts. Let's take that blending brush and see what we can do here. Turn them edges down just a smidgeroon. I guess this is how it's gonna be. <laughs> Muy highlighted. I'm gonna be using the shade, that shade is called Fool's Rush. So I'm gonna take it and just, like I said, put it in the middle of the eyelid and just pack it on there. Just kind of doing packing and swiping. So something I've been really obsessed with lately is this pigment right here, and it is the model's own Color Chrome Eyeshadow. This one's in the shade Golden Light. This is what it looks like. It's just, it's beautiful. It's like a foiled metallic cream shadow. And my favorite way to put it on as of lately is with my finger. So we can just go hog wild with it, and I kind of like how it looks a little 
disheveled and like girl did you know how much you were putting on kind of a deal but i love it oh yeah do you see that look at that and then i just kind of swipe it around a little bit and then i'm going to go in with just the tiniest smidgeroo and just go over the middle again where i may have covered some of it up and then i'm not going to add any more pigment to this brush that i was using to do the outer corner with i'm just going to kind of blend everything together and that is the shadow we're doing so let me do the same thing to the other eye really quick and uh, I'll catch you in a minute. All right, now it's time for liner. And the liner that I want to use is this one right here. It is uh, the Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes in the shade Golden Tiger's Eye. That's a mouthful. This is what it looks like right here. It's kind of a like red brown but it's got some shimmer to it. I don't know, it's beautiful, that's all I know. I'm just gonna take it on the like lid here and maybe buff it out, squiggle it out. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I gotta get really close to my mirror, so hang on. <laughs> beautiful! And on the back of this baby, it has like a little buffer. So we're gonna use it to kind of buff it upwards. So let's put on some lashes. So before I actually apply them, I must curl them. So the mascara that I want to use is this Chanel Le Volume de Chanel mascara. I don't know. We're going to try it. We're going to see how it goes. Woo! That's not bad. So I'm going to apply these lashes off of camera. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. So a few things have happened since uh, I last saw you guys. So the lashes that I have applied to my bowls are these from Lily Lashes X Sephora in the style Havana. That's what is on me eyelids right now. I went ahead and put the same colors on me under eyes as I did to the top except for the shimmer shades like we didn't need any of that and then I just placed a nude liner in the waterline and applied some lower lash mascara I feel like I've caught you guys up to speed now so let's go ahead and move on to the lips so for liner I'm going to be using this Urban Decay Naked 2 liner this is what it looks like Okay, so then I'm going to go in with these right here. I haven't used these in so long. This is the Kylie Cosmetics XKKW collab, and it is in the shade Kimberly. And then the last thing we're going to do is apply just the teensiest amount of this right here. This is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Tease. Now, let's spray the face to lock everything into place. That's it! That's pretty much this look. What do you guys think? I think we um, look a lot better than when we started, so at least there's that. <laughs> but I really like this look. I think it's very bronzy. I think it's very summery, very, um, I don't know, just easy and pretty. And I like it. So I hope you guys like this look as well. If you do, please uh, give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Click that notification bell that so that you get notified every single time that I upload because, um, as we know, YouTube will not tell you. So. <laughs> So that's it guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I've loved hanging out with you, per usual. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!